Brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us tonight again sa ating Bible study. Sana po may marami tayong natututunan ano po, sa ating pag-aaral. And uh, sabi ko nga, no, ang regalo po natin, ang award natin or ang uh, benefit ng ating pag-aaral ay yung uh, nakakapag-usap yeah? Nakaka natin ng Panginoon kasi yung kanyang mga revelations. Nagsasalita ang Panginoon sa atin with His revelations. And uh, excited po ako tonight kasi meron na naman siyang nireveal sa akin uh, that I want to share sa lahat po. So, Mon, bago tayo mag-umpisa, mag-pray ka muna. Thank you, Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. So, uh, hmm. Sending forth your angels that surrounds CHCC families and uh, uh, Lord um, um, yung word mo tonight magbigay ang revelations sa amin at uh, magiging gabay sa amin sa araw-araw in Jesus name Amen, Amen. 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 So last week ang pinag-usapan natin na Dan Keeping the Sabbath day holy. Yon, keeping the Sabbath day holy. So, napag-usapan nga natin na yung mga Pharisees, um, yung pagkakaintindi nila sa uh, remember the Sabbath day and make it holy na sinabi ng Panginoon ay do not work. Yun ang interpretation ng uh, ano, mga Pharisees. Basta, do not work on Sabbath day. No. So nakalimutan po nila yung word yung sinabi ni Lord na make it holy. No. So yun naman ang iniemphasize ng Panginoong Hesus sa paggawa niya ng mabubuti sa araw ng Sabat. Kasi ang emphasis po ng remembering the Sabbath day is keeping it holy. Yan. So yun nga um tinuro sa atin ng Panginoon na pag to make Sabbath day holy is to do the things of God. Meaning, ito <coughs> ba ang uh, uh, dapat natin gawin noong na Sabbath day? Uh, Unang-una na ay unahin natin ang uh, pagpapasalamat, pagpupuri sa Panginoon, pagdadasal, celebrating the Lord's uh, graciousness no, sa ating lahat. At uh, pangalawa nga ay uh, to do the things that are holy to do good things no sa ating kapwa at yun nga yung mga sample ni Jesus is he healed people on the sabbath 
no freeing them from the bondage of satan from the bondage of sickness no so uh, it's a free day kumbaga for many it's a restoration day no for uh, those who were sick no kasi nga um, yun yung ibig sabihin sa panginoon yung keeping the sabbath holy sabi nga niya he is the lord of the sabbath no so kaya naman itong mga um paris is medyo nangingit-ngit palagi pag uh, sabbath yung paghil ni lord kasi nga yung intindi nila ay medyo superficial lang wag magtrabaho no so sa panahon po natin ngayon ay medyo mahirap na iba-ibang mga schedule eh, no may mga tao na ang trabaho nila ay uh, alimbawa sunday to friday I or Thursday, ang rest day nila, Thursday and I Friday and Saturday, mga ganun. Iba na po kasi, no? But, uh, sana lagi pong uh, may naka-schedule, no? Na Sabbath for everyone and making that Sabbath day holy. Yan, no? So, yun yung pinag-usapan natin kasi masyadong controversial yung Sabbath. Okay, tonight, ang pag-uusapan naman natin, uh, healing pa rin. Kasi talagang yun ang pinakamaraming ginawa ng Panginoon, healing. And uh, let's talk about two stories po. No? So, sa John 4, 43 yung isa. Sige nga, Aaron, can you? Okay, read. Mm-hmm. After the two days, he left for Galilee. Now Jesus himself had pointed, pointed out that a prophet has no honor in his own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. They had seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, for they also had been there. Once more, he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal officer whose son lay sick in Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal officer said, Sir, come down, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied. Your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday, at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his whole household believe. No, no, sa Jan 4 po yan, ano. So there are two parts of the story, brothers and sisters. Yung isa, eh, um, medyo nagkwento itong si Jan about um, uh, si Jesus bumalik sa Galilee, no? Pero nung una, umalis siya kasi nga a prophet is not welcome in his own country, no? So maalala nyo, no, doon sa nung unang siyang nag-reveal doon sa Galilee, sinabi niya doon yung uh, nandoon siya sa synagogue at binasa niya yung uh, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue was fastened on him. He began by saying to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your healing. So, pan, ito my revelation na si Lord Jesus, no, na? siya na itong Messiah na pinag-uusapan doon sa Isaiah pa lang noon. No, inulit niya yung prophecy about him. At parang sinasabi niya na siya nga ang gagawa ng lahat ng sinabi niya because the spirit is upon him and he is anointed, no. 
Yun, so medyo nagkaroon ng commotion nung time na yun kasi is it this Joseph son eh, ganun na. Siyempre yung pagkakakilala nga talaga nila ay anak siya ni Joseph, no? At yun, medyo nagalit sila sa kanya at halos uh, itapon siya sa cliff. Pero siyempre, he walked right through the crowd and Jesus went on his way. So, ito yung first part nung uh, ano natin. Pag-aaralan natin na, yun nga, bumalik si Jesus sa kanyang hometown. Pero this time, tinanggap na po siya. Because, sabi dito, they had seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the Passover festival for they were also there. No? Nalaman na po nila lahat ng mga miracle. No? So, nung bumalik siya sa kanyang hometown, proud na sila sa kanya. <laughs> Ay, nako, kapabayan namin yan. <laughs> Kasi nakaka-proud na yung ginawang healing. No? Kayo ba, brothers and sisters, may experience na gano'n sa inyong mga family, kakilala, kababayan, na noon parang hindi kayo pinapansin, inaapi, kasi siguro mahirap lang ang buhay, ganyan. And then, after many years, nakapag-aral kayo, naging successful, pagbalik sa town, now, wow, sikat na, no? Mantalang noon una, hindi pinapansin. Experience po namin yan. <laughs> so, um, nung mga bata kami, um, We were in a similar situation, yung rejection po ba? No? Um, kasi nga po, yung father namin ay manginom. No? So, ang tawag sa amin eh, anak ti Mamartek. <laughs> anak ng lasing mo, parang ganun. No? So, uh, syempre, pag nalalasing kasi si tatay ko noon, minsan nakakapag uh, salita ng hindi maganda doon sa mga... Uh, auntie niya o sa mga lola namin. Kaya naiinis sila sa kanya. Well, um, maintindihan natin na maiinis naman talaga. Yun lang nadadamay po kami kahit wala naman kami ginagawa. So, those times where talagang ikinahihiya po kami ng aming mga <laughs> mga relative, no? So, hindi kami welcome. Tuli, pag tinatawag kami sa party, halimbawa, uh, may occasion yung Parang buong pamilya, no? Pupunta kami pero nakayoko lang o kaya um, tagahugas lang ng plato, no? So, we are not in the, ano, hindi kami humarap sa mga guests. Kasi ang place namin ay sa mga corner-corner lang. So, like Jesus po, ano, he also experienced a similar uh, type of rejection. Kasi nga, hindi naniniwala yung mga tao doon sa sinabi niya na gagawin niya yung uh, healing the sick, setting the press free, ano, yun. So, uh, pero, dumating yung panahon, nung nakapag-aral na rin po kami, no, nag-graduate na kami, nagpapaimbita na sila sa mga graduation namin, <laughs> kilala na nila kami. So, ganun naman po ang tao, no. Kailangan may patunayan ka muna bago ka tanggapin kung minsan. So, ganyan po ang nangyari sa ating Panginoong Yesus, no? Nung nabalitaan na yung napakarami niyang ginawang milagro, pagbalik niya ngayon sa hometown, medyo uh, warm welcome na ng no? mga kababayan. Na nung una ay halos ihulog siya sa bangin uh, para mamatay, ano? But, uh, hindi naman sila nag-succeed. So, ngayon nga, uh, welcome back to Jesus sa kanilang lugar, ano? And uh, yun po yung first part ng, ng puwento. At yung second part is yung merong royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. So nasa Galilee si uh, Jesus at yung may sakit ay nandun sa Capernaum which is about 26 kilometers yung nakita ko eh, yung nabasa ko. And uh, yun nga. So ang ang beg nitong father is Lord. No, sabi niya, pwede ba you come, come and heal my son. So ibig sabihin pinapapunta ni uh, nitong royal official si Jesus sa bahay niya which is about uh kung taga ako taga ago o hanggang bawang yung lalakarin mo. Ganun medyo dalawang taon, pangatlong taon, no? Bago mo ma-reach yung, yung lugar. 
And uh, yun nga, sabi ni Jesus, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe, sabi ni Jesus. So medyo, uh, bakit, bakit kaya ganun yung sagot ni Jesus? No? Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe. Eh, pumunta ka itong official sa kanya kasi humihinga sa kanya ng tulong. So, medyo ako parang, bakit kaya ganun ang sagot ni Jesus? Ano? Um, tapos naalala ko yung uh, kwento ng sintoryon. No? So, gusto nyo, uh, tingnan natin at i-compare natin, bakit nga ba ganun ang sinabi ni Jesus? Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe. So, uh, in-impress sa akin ng Panginoon, tingnan ko nga yung contrast ng kwento doon sa storya ng sintoryon na may may sakit na sermon. Okay? Sige po. Basahin natin ito sa Matthew 8, Arvin. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. Mm. So ngayon, brothers and sisters, pinag-compare ko yung kwento, no? So, itong isa, royal officer din siya. So, may rank po rin siya, no? Ganon din po yung centurion, no? So, yung anak ng uh, royal official ay nandun sa Capernaum. Yung centurion mismo ay nandun din sa Capernaum, no? Pero, um, yung royal official, he begged. Jesus to come and heal his son who was close to death. So, yun talaga ang, ang sabi ng official na, please, come before my child dies. So, pinapapunta siya sa bahay niya. Pero, dito sa centurion, nung i-compare ko, sabi niya, Lord, ay sabi ni Jesus, shall I come and heal him? Sabi ng centurion, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. But just say the word, and my servant will be healed. So, dito sa royal official, sabi niya, Sir, Lord, uh, Jesus, Sir, hindi nga Lord eh, Sir, come down before my child does. Alika na, puntahan na natin bago mamatay ang anak ko. Please, come and heal my son. No. Si Sintorio naman, Lord, no, you don't need to come. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. So dito sa official, hindi niya inaddress si Lord Jesus na Lord. Inaddress niya na Sir. Yung centurion, inaddress niya na Lord ang Panginoong Jesus. So may kapagkakaiba po, di ba? No. So this, um, yung sa official son, uh, kailangan niyang makita na puntahan ni Jesus yung kanyang anak at haplusin siguro para gumaling. Gusto niyang makita para maniwala siya. No? Kaya pala, sinagot ni Jesus sa kanya noong una, unless you people see signs and wonders, 
you will never believe. To As see is to believe. To see is to believe. Itong official na ito, royal official na ito. To see is to believe. Kailangan pumunta ka, Jesus, doon sa anak ko para makita ko na ihilin siya. Pero dito sa sentoryo naman, Lord, Lord, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta. Sabihin mo lang. May faith na siya. May faith na siya. Naniniwala siya sa salita ng Panginoon. Dito sa isa, Sir pa nga eh, hindi pa Lord ang tawag niya. So yung Lordship, hindi pa uh, na-accept nung uh, royal official na ito. Pero ito ang sagot ng Panginoong Yesus. No? Go! Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. Ito naman sa centurion, go! Let it be done just as you believe it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. So, dito sa kabila, no, yung father, medyo unless, medyo na-disappoint si Lord, no? Unless, no, you will see my miracle, tsaka ka lang maniniwala. Dito naman sa centurion, truly, I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. Ang sinabi niya. So, yun. Itong, itong royal office, officer naman ay tinake naman niya yung word ni Jesus nung sinabi niya, Go, your son will live. Naniwala siya. Naniwala naman siya. And yun nga, nung nalaman niya gumaling yung anak niya, his whole household also believed in the Lord Jesus. So, to see is to believe talaga. No? Afterwards, yung belief. Pero yung nag-trust din naman yung royal official sa word ni Lord nung sinabi niyang, Go, your son will live. So, anong reflection natin dito, brothers and sisters? The Lord Jesus commended, no, pinuri niya, yung centurion's great faith. While he expressed disappointment about the lack of faith of the royal officer. No, so sabi niya, unless you see, then you will believe. But, despite the lack of faith, he still healed the royal officer's son. Di ba? So, anong gustong sabihin ng Lord sa atin? Even with small faith, brothers and sisters, the Lord will answer us. No. Hindi po kailangan ng great faith. Kahit maliit lang po. Well, kung malaki po ang faith nyo, naku, napakaganda po yan. No? Tuloy lang po natin yan. At talagang... Uh, we will see more than you could imagine. No? But if you have a little faith, sasama na po dyan yung compassion, yung graciousness, yung kindness ng Panginoon para makuha pa rin po yung answer. No? So, even though he is disappointed in us sometimes, no? brothers and sisters, hindi okay, naman tayo laging uh, great faith, eh, no? May mga time na may doubts, may mga time na may unbelief, no? Even though the Lord is disappointed sometimes in us, He still answers and prayer, our prayers and blesses us, ano? Yun, so kahit konti lang po yung faith natin, eh. Dahil sa pag-ibig, sa kabutihan ng Panginoon, eh, sasagutin pa rin niya tayo. No? Malala ko yung kunikwento ni Arby noong isang araw. Medyo konti po kasi yung customer namin sa Transients. So, sabi niya yung ganyan. Lord, kahit po magdamag po kami mag-text at sasagot ng mga customers, kung hindi mo po luloobin na magka-customer kami, hindi mangyayari. So Lord, pwede po pang pahingi ng customer. Sabi daw niya. Nasa rooftop, nagdadasal doon sa rooftop. Pagbaba niya, andyan na yung mga customer. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord, di ba? Pilis naman ang sagot talaga ni Lord. No? So sometimes, kukunti kasi yung fit natin. Eh. Pero despite that, ano, God honors the little fit that we have and He will answer our prayers. So yun po. No? So una, even with a small faith, He will answer us. Palawa, even though he is some disappointed in us sometimes, 
He will still answer us and bless us. No? Pangatlo, whoever takes His word by heart will receive His blessing. Yun naman ang pagkakapareho ng dalawa. Medyo delayed lang yung isa. Pero nung sinabi ni Lord na go, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. Hindi na po naman nag-complain na, ah. halika na nga. Nung una medyo nag-insist, halika na Jesus bago mamatay ang anak ko. Pero nung sinabi ni Lord na go, your son will live. He took Jesus at his word. No? So naniwala siya doon sa salita ng Panginoon. Yan. At natanggap niya yung hinihiling niyang healing sa kanyang anak. Ganon din po yung ating um, centurion. No? Yan. So bakit naman ganon yung comment ni Lord din sa, sa mga tao that many will come from the east and west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. No? Kasi po, si Centurion is a Gentile. No? At, uh, di ba po, noon, yung the subjects of the kingdom ay yung mga Israelites. No? So, sinasabi ng Pai noon, yung may mga Gentiles na mas matitindi pa ang faith kesa sa mga Israelites na who were yung subjects of the kingdom. Yung sila talaga yung unang binigyan ng promise for salvation. Ano? Pero sabi ni Jesus na itong Gentile na ito has great faith. I have, I have never seen one with such great faith in Israel. Kasi Israel nga po yung napili ni lahi, di ba? Pero bakit mas matindi pa ang faith nitong centurion? Kaya naman, sabi ni Lord Jesus na marami pa ang mas matitinding faith na Gentile kaysa sa mga Jews, mga Israelites, na ang sabi niya doon. Okay? So yun po, brothers and sisters, no? Ulitin ko lang, the Lord is telling us tonight that even with small faith, He will answer us. Even though He is sometimes disappointed in us sa liit ng faith natin, He still answers our prayers and blesses us. And whoever takes His word by heart, will receive the blessing. So, uh, ini-encourage ko po kahit, kayo, kahit na maliit po yung faith natin, eh, lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. And let's continue itong mga pag-aaral, Bible study, and faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the Word of God. Yan. So, lalo pong pipibay ang ating pananampalataya kung lagi tayong sumasama dito sa mga Bible study, no? at uh, nare-reveal sa atin yung mga salita ng Panginoon. So, kanina nga eh, siner ko rin to sa amin sa TI, itong sa Bible study sa TI, sabi nung isa, o nga tidang no, when I read those two stories, they are different. Pero ako kasi, naisip ko, bakit kaya ganun ang sagot ni Lord? Unless you see the miracle, you won't believe. Parang medyo suplado yung dating niya sa akin. Bakit kaya? Yun pala, No, dito sa sintoryon, sinabi ni Lord, shall I come? Sa isa kasi, Lord, come! Si Jesus dito sa kamila, shall I come? But anyway po, even though we have a little faith, we have a big God. We have a big God who is compassionate, kind, gracious, and loving. Lahat po ng magagandang adjectives nasa Panginoon yan. And He has no rival. No, He will still bless us even though we have little faith. Because He is a big God. He is a progressive God. He is a loving God. No, and He does not measure His answer to us according to our faith. But according to His character, His kind character, His loving character. Yun po. Okay po. So, sana po na... Uh, Katulong po sa inyo ang ating revelation ngayong gabi at huwag uh, tayong malungkot kung maliit po yung faith natin. Pwede po yan lumaki by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God and praying. No? And palakasin uh, pa po natin ng faith natin by, by doing those and uh, joining us sa ating Bible study.
Okay? So, pa-closing prayer naman, uh, Aram. Lord, thank you po sa word with today. Sana po na kahit maliit yung faith na ng Lord na just say the word. I just say the word and we will believe it. Help us to focus on you, Lord. Just give me a break. Amen. Amen. Okay, Paul. Bye bye. See you next week. It was my cross you bore, so I could live in the freedom you died for. My life is yours, and I will sing of your goodness forevermore. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name.